only have one motorcycle. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Autonomous Biker USA. Consider subscribing, hit that thumbs up. Let's get this channel and keep growing. Appreciate everybody's help. If you could have one bike, or let's rephrase that. If you only could have one bike, what would it be? No second bikes, no third bikes, no bike because it fits this genre, that genre. Your, your go-to, do-all, I only have one bike. For a lot of you that watch, I know you guys have multiple bikes. A lot of Harley baggers with a secondary bike, either maybe a sport bike or an adventure bike. Some Goldwing owners out there as well. Some BMW GS Trophy owners out there as well. Mr. GS48, you know who you are. But if you could have one bike, what would it be? Would you stick with a mid-size cruiser that you could put bags on in a windshield? So it's easy to maneuver around town and you could tour on it as well. But that would eliminate if you do any ADV or off-road stuff. But you get the big bagger, the Indian, the Harley, the BMW. Uh, when I say BMW bagger, I'm talking about like the transcontinental, the big fairing bagger that they have. Um, but you get one of those, which is great for crushing miles. And although you can ride it around town, they are a little big and heavy for everyday purpose for city commute. So, or would you get something like midway in between, like a sport naked? You know, the MT-10, a Yamaha, the Kawasaki Z900. Oh, it's getting warm out. It's like 97. And we are at the best place you could be when it's warm out a red light so if i could only have one bike you know i have a handful because they all do different things and i like them for what their purpose is obviously but oh man if i could only have one it's tough because i do like to ride far distances i do like to do day trips and hit the twisties where the bike handles well and then i really like going off-road so if you think about it from my perspective it's kind of leading you to one category something like the bmw gs or the triumph tiger 900 um maybe even like the ktm 1290 the only thing is for off-road those are all pretty big so but it is nice because you can long haul them you could day trip them and you could definitely you can off-road them for sure just a little a little heavy when you get into some more technical like single track can it be done sure but uh oh man i don't know it's tough what do you guys think could only have one i mean i guess it depends on the riding you do if you're just a highway and trip taker you're getting a bagger like i said case closed uh or is that just too heavy for you if everyday rides like you like something more mid-size like i'm on the scout or the harley st the low rider or i don't know maybe like kawasaki vulcan or an Indian chief without the fairing, something without a fairing, just the windshield. Let me know in the comments if you had to do it, what it would be and what type of riding you do most. 
because that's going to be key to answering the question. You were doing off-road, highway, and everyday daily. What would you suggest? I mean, the GS is really nice, but it's big. And then you got the uh, Fly and Ride just got it, the uh, Pikes Peak Ducati. That thing's amazing. Another big bike, though. But it can do it all. And he has the GS, too. So, be curious to see as his take after owning both of those for a little while, you know, what, what he likes better. So I think for everyday do-all, multi-purpose Swiss Army knife, so to speak, probably got to stay in that adventure sport class, right? Those GSs, Triumph Tiger, KTM Duke, the bigger is 1190, 1290. Um, is something like, you know, the Yamaha Tenere. Eh, you could you can go long distance on that, but it's not going to be the most comfortable. I mean, you could do that on my Himalayan, for sure. But again, you're going to be lacking some accoutrements that you may want if you're doing longer trips, which is why you take different bikes. So, just curious. I've been riding here on the Scout, and I picked this bike today for the type of ride I was doing. But then last week I was out on my Himalayan in the dirt, and I was like, man, if I only had one bike, what do you do? So that led me to think, I'll ask you all, what do you do? And I know, you know, somebody's going to say, well, you'll never have only one bike. That's probably true, but you never know. So for the sake of argument, you can only have one bike. Your perfect all-rounder for the riding you do. And if you already have it, what is that? Put that in the comments. Pete's Moto Adventures has the gold wing. And he's got the little uh, Honda CRF 300 off-road. And he may just say, oh, I think I'd go with this gold wing. Understandable. So leave it in the comments below. What bike am I picking? Oh, man. I guess I gotta go with that BMW GS. Got the 1300 now. Have to take it off road though and see how it did. That's a big bike off road. Uh, you have lower, smaller class than the uh, 900. So it would probably be something in that class. So that's my take. What's your say? Leave me in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget.